This is Firegun 522 with my fifth tutorial. And today, you can see that obviously I'm not on usual flat grass. Instead, I'm on my own little map I made using Source SDK's hammer editor. And this is only version 2 of my map. I'm still trying to get those textures that are on construct. Really nice ones. But I don't have episode 2, so I can't really get them. Um, so enough about the map, it's awesome, I know, but let's get back to why I started this. <clears throat> okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to use, or, well, not how to use, how, more like how to make a 3D auto turret. <clears throat> it sh shoots 360 degrees all around the um, turret itself. And it's small and portable, it's the only problem is you can't attach to a vehicle because it has vector thrusters. Also I got a neat little countdown timer right there in the top left of my screen. You like it? And I can ignore that. Okay. So now, we're gonna make the auto turret base. And I'm sorry about the lag. Also, if you guys remember, I made an auto turret tutorial before, and it took forever to make, so I decided to make uh, a new one. And this one's a little bit better, and don't need to use trigonometry or anything. You use vector thrusters. So that's why I said you can't use it on a vehicle. All right, so I'm just gonna go find a prop that kind of sticks out of it. And I'm gonna use the iron beam two. Eh, sorry about the light. I'm gonna use the iron beam two. I'm gonna kinda lift this up. And this would be way easier if you have easy precision. And I don't know how you would do it without it. You'd probably do something, I don't know. And we're gonna ball socket it. Remember this is the second one, not the first one. This is the iron beam two. Okay, so I'm gonna click on one edge, just right there. Uh, it's my paint removal from my server. Put that right there. Okay, so we don't want it sticking out like this. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our offset, and we're just gonna kind of play around with the values. Let's be hundreds. Can't really tell if that's in the middle. Get closer. Okay, that's a little too far. Okay, that looks pretty close. So, negative 1580 is our magic number here. And just click, and it'll ball socket it. And when we unfreeze both, you can see the pole swings around, making sure that it's ball socketed. So you can just move it 360 degrees anywhere, just swing it. Okay, enough playing around with it. And just as soon as I get this, alright. Okay, so I have our little. What the hell? That was weird. Okay, so we have it aligned, and it's up, and I took like four minutes doing all that. So I'm probably gonna have to cut the tutorial into two parts and which we all hate. Okay, so get your beacon sensor and we're gonna need to put uh, distance and world position or GPS cords. And let's just put that right here. It doesn't really match which way it's facing as long as it's on the tip. Since it's not using bearing it doesn't matter how it's facing anything. Alright, and I'll make it target me. I already have it targeting me because I was screwing around. Uh, you, unless you want to get shot at by your own turret, I would suggest that you turn this off. Just put that there. Now we're going to link the beacon sensor. So right click the beacon sensor, right click the target finder, and now it's showing me my distance and my world position. Okay, 
to go, so we're gonna uh, we're gonna put an expression gate on here. And this is a pretty big expression gate, so that's why I'm probably saying it's gonna take two parts. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the expression gate and then unpause the video. And I hope I get my timer right, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed there. Um, so I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna play it again. And I'm gonna stop it right at the... Okay guys, I'm back and I have my expression gate and so now I hope I can I got this right because I kind of made it real quick. You can see where the timer is already at one minute. So I'm going to show you guys the expression real quick. And so this is going to be like the whole thing. There's a lot of inputs for like the beacon sensor and the GPS I'm going to put on. Therefore it's going to be easier. Well, not easier. It's going to be harder actually. But yeah. Alright, so let's just put our expression gate right there. Uh, I'll use a different model. Okay. There's our expression gate and all of its wonders. And now we're going to add a GPS. Okay. So now with the GPS added, and my bad FPS going on right now. We can manage to wire this all together. Alright. So target goes to the target finder. Hop it one. Yeah, I better hide my wires. Okay, so let's just update. Distance or dist goes to distance. There's no ranger beacon sensor X would go to world X. G GX would go to the GPS and I'm almost out of time. BY goes to World Y. GY goes to Top of Y. BZ goes to World Z. Uh, sorry about that. I reset my timer because that um, I stopped it for that two minutes. So G GPS is, or GZ goes to Alpha Z. Numpad would go to Numpad. All right. So I'm done there, and I'm gonna get my Numpad input. Toggle on unless you want to hold the button down. And we're just going to kind of place it right there. Wow, it's really laggy. Okay. Num would go to the numpad. Alright, so now I'm going to add a vector thruster onto this, onto this little thing I made. Alright, <clears throat> so if you guys remember way back when, when I had the, um, when I actually had my original tutorials, which were the, um, old ones up to 20, and then I started over with these, um, I'm doing the same thing. Okay, so we wire mole to my, to output multiply, x to output x, y to Y goes to alpha Y, Z goes to alpha Z. Now, we could turn this on real quick, and you can see it targets us, but it's really slow. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the weight to 10, and then you have your auto tracking turret. Uh, you can add whatever you want onto this, but whatever. Have fun, don't burn yourself.